Hello everybody, this welcome back to another episode of Ratchet Deadlocked. We are driving a land stalker. We got move, left, right, jump, sidestep, fire guns, change, change mortars, fire mortars. Ratchet, you will have to use the land stalker's mortars to destroy those quasar orbs. Alright, so let's just look. Alright, that's like a jump. Oh, charge, not change. Oh, wow, reading is hard, man. Can I kill you? Nope, can't kill it. Alright. So... We're just mowing down everything. Yeah, our bots aren't really that good. They're just kind of here for right now. There we go. Oh, there's people behind me. Let's see. I think that water was hurting me. Yeah, that is these guys. We're just gonna take out you. And then we're gonna take out you. But I think that's it. We just walk across this and it's over. Yes, it is. All right, rise up, defeat the zombies. This carnage, folks. We are loving it. Burial dome. There's no telling what lurks inside these walls. Play? I don't think I need a full overview of everything that's going on. In order to complete this challenge, in other words, stay alive. They're very much like baby feeding me every single piece of information here, instead of just like letting me explore. And I'm not even on like an easy difficulty. Alright, finally some actual enemies. Uh, what's going on here? Just a bunch of zombies. We got like three enemy types, either the ones that are like little dogs, zombies, or the big robots. Or I guess there's also the balls. And they hurt so much. All they did was make it so that way they do lots of damage. Hey, zombie looks like your mama. So no more ammo? Oh, we get ammo every once in a while. Nice. I was worried. Another green metal, got a hacker ray. That sexy guitar. Well done, Ratchet. You have completed your first Dread Zone campaign and won a medal. You have also unlocked a new set of objectives called Dread Challenges. Earning medals and defeating Dread Challenges are the key to survival in Dread Zone. Alright, let's go to the Hoverbike Madness. Ratchet will race to beat the clock. Each checkpoint he passes will earn him a few extra seconds. So you got left, Team right, straight, r 2 2 jump, and fire guns. But no extra boost. Whoa! Whoa. We're just gonna ignore all of them. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is really, really floaty controls. 
Uh, I knew there'd be a, a reason for that ramp. Gotta go back, gotta go back. Oh my god, the reverse is so slow. There we go, there we go. Plus. Nice. Uh, destination Derby. Hop in the Landstalker, destroy something. It's time to hop into the Landstalker. Take out as many enemies as you can. Oh, just take out as many enemies as I can. Okay, pretty easy. Every time I take a hit, bro, I get some power. Sorry. Alright, uh, we're just gonna fire all those. Beautiful. Any more? No more. Great. Let's go this way. Kill that guy. Nice, we do get our nano tank while in this. Now we do 61, pretty simple, straightforward. Done. Took a minute. And Mount Monuments of Death. This is a Dread Zone favorite. Our contestant will. Oh, we have a lot of money now, so we can definitely buy some of these. So we got a Hollow Shield Launcher, we got Napalm, and we got the Obliterator. Was voted the Weapon of the Year by the Galactic Association of Regulatory Unnecessarily Firepower. That's G A R U F. Garf. Garf. Uh, you'll buy it for the precision ground targeting, but you'll love it for its. Gratuitous destruction. Bye. Yes, bye. Have to destroy three ancient statues all in a matter of minutes. You got all So it. we got the hollow shield. We got the obliterator. Ah, uh, just a circle bomb. You don't need to tell me I have to just do the thing. Boom, shakalaka. Nice. So it doesn't bounce at all, it just explodes at impact. It's good to know. Oh, okay, cool. Big shield. Oh wait, I should uh weapons. An alpha mod can only be equipped onto a single weapon at a time. You will need to add and remove the mods in order to put them onto different weapons. Multiple alpha mods of the same type can be equipped on the same weapon. So that any omega mod which is playing the for that same thing to me over and, and over again. X to equip it. A pool of available so ammo mod increases ammo capacity or impact mod increases knockback to enemies, back into the alpha mod speed pool. or ammo, oh no, this one, I either have increases auto targeting or, oh, I can have multiple, that's cool. Select a weapon. Cool. So now everything has... I wonder how their shield. If, if they walk through it, do they just get. Walk through it. Nope. Maybe if I shoot someone through it, that's how they'll get it? Wow, that's a lot of people.
Or maybe I guess if, if they shoot the shield. I wonder if I actually need to do two uh, explosive devices. Or if one's just enough. Where to now? Okay, up there. And we're running and we're running. We're out of ammo. That's it for this planet. We could try to go for more skill points, but <laughs> skill points don't do anything for me. You know? Challenges can be completed in any order. Your status on Dread Zone now allows you to access planet Serathos. Yeah, so I guess green I don't know if green is the best. <laughs> Tell me. Alright, we're just gonna we're gonna go to the new planet. They really want you to just re keep replaying everything so that way you make more money, you can go upgrade your robots. Galva Cutsy! You're a fucking loser! <laughs> His glasses are there. Kills the kid. That's right, kids. Exterminator trading cards are here. There's Reactor, Shell Shock, the Eviscerator, and your favorite exterminator, Ace Hardlight. Collect them all and exterminate your friends today. He's just a skinny boy with blonde hair. Some people don't like him. He's not like a giant Welcome robot. Giant robots are always cool. Lots of unskippable cutscenes though. Episode, Just end up waiting and waiting and waiting. So if it's helium, is my voice now higher? King Leviathan. And take it from me, people. Monstrous is putting it nicely. Ratchet, there is a combat arena up ahead. That is your first objective. Be careful. Oh, we got scorpions. Nice, level three, baby. Speed mod. All right, let's uh get full, so we can get napalm. Hunter mine launcher. Get napalm. Nice configure mods. Uh, this one. That Omega mod will now always work with that weapon until you change it or take it off. Use it wisely. Once you have purchased a new Omega mod, it can be equipped if Didn't your I weapon supports buy a new Omega it. mod? Remember, some weapons are not compatible with certain Omega oh, mods. That's why I'm being told right now. So I have all that. Go up to the Omega mods. Alright, so you're the only one that uses Napalm. Fox has designed his weapons to gain experience. Perfect. Dude, this one looks like... Nice. Kinda looks shitty, but it's okay. It's just lava. Oh my god, I didn't know Skarner was in this game. 
Oh wow, they actually were able to walk into the lava. Instead of it just having to fall on them. That's cool. You know, we're fighting in a big area. Nice. Level 2 impact mod. Wow, that's a lot of damage. I think I'm dead. Yeah. Rip. Hey boss. Alright. Do you reach Throw out one of those. Perfect. It's ammo. Cool, so it doesn't hurt me. Now we know that for sure. This would be pretty OP if this would shoot out Napalm too. Oh look, some ammo. I didn't see that the first time. Bro, you're running right into the lava. You're on fire. Please stop. Alright, what does this door do? Oh, let's just go inside. I'm not gonna go inside. Over here. Is there gold bolts in this game too? Or no, they're done with the gold bolt, titanium bolt. Alright, where are the enemies? There they are. Folks, what is this sneaky Lombax doing behind the arena? This could be nothing. It's nothing, he's getting ammo. <laughs> That's good. They have little voice lines for stupid things like that. What could he be doing? It's nothing. All right, in we go. Nice, nice. Locate the Puma. My other car is a Puma. Alright, I get it. It's an area. Can I please just play? Yep, I see it right there. Was it really a close one? Suckers will be eating your head for lunch. Mm, my mother used to serve Lomax bites for breakfast with eggs and salsa. Mm -hmm. But you're a robot, yeah, my dude. Reminding never to eat at your house. How can robots eat food? One hit took me out like two-thirds of my health. That's crazy. That's actually crazy.
All right, what else we got? We got some guys over here. A double swing shot. I cannot bear to look. Oh my god, I almost missed it. Just gonna kill this. Fully upgraded. Let's get out of the yeah, well, no, I'm gonna kill all these people because I want more. Well, my weapons upgrade. The the Leviathan's the room. Team Dark Star must I'm sorry, where the Leviathan's room? Knows. Wow, I am stupid. Where are the Leviathan's room? I like that one better though. Oh, I gotta... So, left stick just goes forward and back. Right stick controls whether or not you turn. Or you can just hold down right trigger? No. That is not how this works. Ooh, sick little drift. By that he means spin the wrench on two more areas. We're just gonna go over there. I'm not gonna really worry about killing these guys. Now, how do we get over to this one? Let's get some help. Nice, here's the ramp. Whee! Maybe you'll die. Maybe you'll die. He's completed the third stage. Tell him what he's won. Maybe you'll die. He's won an all-expense paid trip to the Leviathan's Lair, where he will enjoy golf, tennis, fine dining, Right, I want this upgrade. There we go. Speed mod. Power is now 25. Perfect. Now we have to get over this way. Oh, it's right here. Chewie! Now we play Leviathan. We are now in the final moments before the epic showdown with the King Leviathan. Team Darkstar. Computer just tried to restart him. No, 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 not right now. Big fella, happy hunting. Mmm, I am breathless with anticipation. Sure, you're not just breathless because you get to sit up here next to me. This. No, but that does explain why I'm feeling nauseous. Oh, we gotta hack everything. God, what's going on? That slowdown was crazy. I'm sorry, whatever I did, I'm sorry. Run, ratchet, run. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be using this. Maybe this is too hard on the emulator. Or I guess I shouldn't just spam it. The lava has too many textures. Yeah, well, once they- look at that. 
once they get set on fire and there's too much of it out, they just start to, uh, oh god, no. That's the last one there. Alright, we'll use this. Kill everything in the area. Well, hello. I'm just gonna spam this. Hopefully, it doesn't crash my game. Ouch! Nice, leveled up. And we got a skill point. Let me my skill points. And we got the cable launcher. Ratchet, if you want to gain more experience or earn more bolts, you can return I do. to any challenge. Check me out. Oh, I really have to start shooting now. Oh, I gotta turn around? Oh, I miss it. Can't restart this? Oh my god. Stop it. Stop it. S stop it. Way. This really looks like the Star Wars hover bikes. I know, not really. Back it up. Let me go. Turn and miss it again. So like there's really no way to like lose this, it's just whether or not you don't get a good rating. Or is or my like is there like a time in between or if I die maybe? I'm not really too sure. Does it just change the amount of dread bolt points and bolts I get if I take long? I'm confused. Threat zone has unleashed an angry pack of Leviathans for Team Dark Star to battle. They'll have to destroy the Oh, there's just lots of Leviathans out. out. Okay. Before time runs out. Oh, we actually got a countdown now. And we'll take out you, and then we're gonna take out you. Nice. Fucking roasted, man. All right, uh, we're gonna kill you. Perfect. So many scarners, bro. I didn't realize the scarner update came out already. You're dead. Shwee, shwee. Oh, I can't do it while I'm charging up. And there we go. Is this the last mission? Oh, that was it. Skills? Oh no, that's the... Uh, I don't care about that. Let's go back... What am I doing? Let's go back to the Dreadstone Station. 
a little cutscene. And now for a Vox Sports update, Dreadzone's Extermination of the Day award goes to Shellshock for his 360 Tomahawk finishing move on Plutonium Jones. It was a beauty, Dallas, and it marks Shellshock's third extermination of the season. At fourth, actually, the Omega Twins count as two. Good points. And we're now live with Shellshock for comments. Shellshock? <laughs> Is it a bullet he's smoking on? <laughs> yes, quite ironic, especially since they were actually teenage girls. <laughs> yeah, ironic. Hey, Juanita, are you wearing Ace Hot Light underwear? <laughs> and now for a heartwarming story in entertainment news. Courtney Gears has made a remarkable recovery after a near-death experience last year when she was attacked by two psychotic She attacked me. Ah, poor girl. You know, you just hate to see that kind of senseless violence. It's appalling, Dallas. I'd just like to take those two creeps and... <laughs> I'm sure we all would, Juanita. And you may just get your wish because those very evildoers are about to come face to face with the mighty Shell Shock. Catch oh, nice. All live on Dread Zone. Well, in the next episode, we're going to go and do that. But before we do leave, I'm going to try to see if I can upgrade my uh, my robot boys. Hunter, mine, launcher. I need to get shock. Everything's just too far away. Like, they wanted this to be like a little hub world, but it's just because you don't have Clank to move you around. And then we'll go and buy... The paint doesn't matter. I don't think there's anything Clank can do for me. Yeah, they just have him here because they're like, Shit, it's Ratchet and Clank, we gotta put Clank somewhere. Do the shock mod. Then we'll go to weapons. Shock. So how does this one work? Uh, this device allows you to shoot out a portable shield anytime, anywhere. Hollow shield for uh, yeah. Put on the shock one. Well, everyone, on the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and fight the exterminator. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye bye.